Hi, I'm Whitney Espick, the CEO of the MIT Alumni Association, and I hope you enjoy this digital production created for alumni and friends like you. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our Tech Day morning program. My name is Annalisa Weigel, and I have had the distinct pleasure of serving as the MIT Alumni Association president this year. Tech Day is a celebration of the desire of our MIT community to never stop learning and problem solving. We all, as alumni, share that. Another tenant of our community, as you know, is the application of our knowledge and service to society. Of all of the fabulous points of progress we have made in the last several months, one that the association has been most proud of has been the launch of the MIT Alumni Better World Service Initiative. This association program is parts networking site, workspace, project aggregator, and storytelling platform designed to connect MIT people working to make a better world through their volunteer efforts across climate and sustainability, human health, STEM education, social justice and equity, and more. With alumni sharing the projects in this area or signing up to join others in their existing efforts, the service initiative has been a powerful demonstration of our alumni community as a force multiplier of good in the world. One of the pillars of the initiative is the new MIT Alumni Better World Service Award. This award honors alumni who have demonstrated an ability, passion, and unwavering commitment to the MIT ideal of working wisely, creatively, and effectively for the betterment of humankind. It was created in complement to the MIT Alumni Association's longstanding MIT Alumni Leadership Awards. While those recognize services to the MIT community, this new honor celebrates the service efforts that our alumni have made to communities around the world. When the Alumni Association put out the call for nominations for the service award, we were delighted to receive so many worthy submissions for consideration. And after careful thought and deliberation, the awards committee of the Alumni Association Board of Directors decided to award not one, but two inaugural award recipients. And you all are about to find out why both have been honored. Please roll the video. On behalf of the MIT Alumni Association, the Association Board of Directors, its awards committee, and the Institute, I am delighted to announce the recipients of this year's MIT Alumni Better World Service Award, Dira Anantha Krishnan and Reiner Bukas. Dira Anantha Krishnan, an alumna from the class of 1990 and a mechanical engineering major, is an orthopedic spine surgeon, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. Dira's background in mechanical engineering, coupled with her global surgery interest, led her to found the nonprofit 501c3 Orthopedic Link in 2009. Her work bringing implants and tutoring the local spine surgeons has advanced spine surgery by decades in underdeveloped regions across the world. To date, Orthopedic Link has mobilized more than $3 million worth of surplus implants and instrumentation worldwide, which have led to hundreds of patients' lives being improved. As one of a handful of academic female spine surgeons in the country, Dira is a shining role model for women who are interested in surgery and spine surgery. As assistant professor of orthopedic surgery in the Emory Spine Center, Dira serves her community in many ways, including as a clinical mentor for graduate students in Georgia Institute of Technology's Coulter Department of Bioengineering. She has also used her interest in systems and processes to start a women's multidisciplinary initiative, bridging multiple specialties into the musculoskeletal space to enhance patient care through a holistic and collaborative approach. In addition to all the above and her day job as a spine surgeon, Dira is currently a student in the 2023 cohort of the Executive MBA program at MIT Sloan with the goal of furthering her impact globally and locally with a new set of skills from MIT. The energy and passion that Dira brings to her important work are truly helping to build a better world. Reiner Bukas, or Rhine as he is known to his friends, is a scientist, 
biomedical pharmacy entrepreneur and philanthropist. A class of 1967 Biology Life Sciences alumnus, Ryan is a vocal and avid citizen advocate for fusion energy, who has worked to stimulate support for fusion among elected officials, business leaders, academics, and more. In 2007, Ryan, a longtime researcher who held leadership positions at SmithKline Worldwide, now GlaxoSmithKline, and Ischemix Incorporated, began a single-minded campaign to ensure that any U.S. congressperson or senator who visited Boston also made it a point to visit the Plasma Science and Fusion Center at MIT. Participating in those early visits, he became concerned that the federal fusion program was underfunded and that the community of private companies and federally funded research institutions were all competing with each other for diminishing federal resources. In response, Ryan led efforts to organize the national fusion community and work to replace competitive lobbying with a unified agenda to promote fusion through a compelling narrative about the role that fusion energy could play in meeting future climate goals. Ryan worked with MIT fusion scientists and others on developing messaging that would actually resonate with elected officials. Today, 15 years later after his campaign began, fusion is no longer a pipe dream. It is on the front pages of major newspapers and magazines. In addition to meeting with representatives in the West Wing and on Downing Street, he has been an inspiring force for a large bipartisan congressional fusion caucus. And in great news, the U.S. House of Representatives recently passed a $1 billion fusion energy research funding package. Ryan Bukas continues to demonstrate his commitment to the health of our planet through his tireless citizen advocacy, amplifying the MIT community's leadership in developing solutions to climate change. Congratulations to Deera and Ryan. Through your good works and commitment to solving real life problems, you each have defined in your own ways what it means to be in service to a better world. And for that, you have the thanks of the entire MIT community. Congratulations. So thank you very much in helping me welcome to the stage our inaugural MIT Alumni Better World Service Award recipients, Dara Anantakrishnan and Ryan Bukas. So Dara, would you like to say a few words? Thanks so much, Annalisa. Thanks to all of you for coming. Um, in the concept uh, of service, I'm going to co-opt a line from the Dalai Lama and say, good morning, my fellow humans. It is amazing for me to be here today to receive this award for service to humans and humanity from MIT, an institution that has shaped the arc of my life and continues to shape the arc of my life. As you can see from the video, it really does take a village I'm part of an incredible group of humans that have helped to move forward a vision of more equitable musculoskeletal care. It's not possible for me to thank everyone, but I would like to thank my Orthopedic Link co-founders, Jim and Heather Kircher, the Emory Department of Orthopedic Surgery, my friends and family, my mom and sister are here today. Um, and in particular, I'd like to thank uh, my partners, John Heller and Tim Yoon, as well as my uh, MIT classmate, Stacy Colonna. They nominated me for this award. I'd like to thank the surgeons and the staff in the Philippines and Nepal, Bulgaria, Malawi, Tanzania, Nigeria. Thanks so much for welcoming us into your countries, for trusting us with your patience. I continue to be humbled and uplifted by caring for my fellow humans. I often think that the MIT motto, Men's at Manus, should also include core and heart as well. I learned a lot about heart and bouncing back after failure here at MIT. Well, it's a great honor for me to get this award. I really think we have a lot more to do. I'd like to con congratulate Ryan as well as all of the nominees for their service to humanity. And lastly, I'd like to thank my dad. He was my inspiration to come to MIT, not just once, but twice. He never got to see me practice, but his presence informs my work every day. Thank you.
And now, Ryan, we'd love to hear from you. President Weigel and fellow alumni and members of the selection committee who have to be recognized for their thoughtfulness. Having joined in the applause for Dr. Ananta Christian, I stand in awe of her accomplishments because her direct actions in service to the world are making a big difference right now in the lives of so many people around the world. In contrast, my own efforts need some humility. Let me explain. I find it wonderful and unexpected to be honored for trying to persuade other people to do things. <laughs> but that, in fact, was what I've been doing. I've been doing for the last 15 years. Whenever anybody is willing to stop and hear about the essential need for fusion energy in our warming world. So I thank those who have been stimulated to work harder at what they were already doing and I thank those who took up this new challenge in labs and legislatures and climate forums, except that many people heard the message and accepted even personal reputational risk. There would have been no award for me today. My efforts to call attention to the necessity of fusion to help decarbonize the planet also call attention to those who began their work before me and who will continue after me those people whose ability, passion, and unwavering commitment to achieve or make possible fusion for the world all right, has already brought those efforts much closer to fruition. Thus, I receive this award as proxy for members of the broad fusion community, technicians, physicists, engineers, legislators, entrepreneurs, climate activists, who numbered only a few hundred people worldwide 15 years ago and who even now don't exceed a few thousand people around the world. This award, given on behalf of more than 100,000 MIT alumni, tells members of the extended fusion community that their efforts are indeed for the betterment of the world, that they are indeed, they are indeed acting in service to the world and of humankind, and they deserve this recognition. So on their behalf, I accept and thank you for this honor. So thank you both, Dira and Ryan, and again, congratulations. I am sure that your peers out in the audience here feel the same pride that I do, knowing that you're part of our MIT alumni community. Thanks for joining us. And for more information on how to connect with the MIT Alumni Association, please visit our website.